Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Peter and in this video we're going to be talking about the listening component of your IELTS exam. This video is part of a series for your IELTS preparation. There has been one introductory video, one video on speaking, this video is on listening, there will be two other videos for writing and this for writing and reading respectively. We're also going to talk about one video to just summarize all we have talked about. So please do see this set of videos completely for your IELTS preparation. Also, if you are new on this channel, like this video and subscribe to this channel. There's premium content here for your productivity. Now, listening, the listening component of your IELTS exam is going to be in three parts. There'll be three sessions to your listening test. All three sessions are going to have an average of 13 questions. That's 39 questions. But one of the segments will have more than 13 questions, but just have that at the back of your mind. What listening, what the listening test means is that you are going to listen to a set of conversations and you're going to answer questions from those conversations. The exam is going to be in a pattern where you're actually going to use um, a listening device, an earpiece or a headphone to listen to conversations. The first conversation is likely going to be between two friends who are talking about an ordinary day conversation or a phone call between a client and a customer care service rep representative. And you are expected to answer questions from the follow-up of the conversations that these people are having. The second aspect can also be an extension of that initial conversation or could be another set of discussion. You are expected to listen attentively and answer questions from this conversation. The last part of your reading test is usually an academic presentation, maybe uh, a professor or a seminar or something like that. And you're supposed to get detailed answers from that conversation to fill up your answer booklet. You're going to have 40 minutes for your listening test. The conversations will take 30 minutes and you have 10 minutes to translate your answers from your question paper to your answer booklet. What this, what I'm saying essentially is there is an answer booklet for your IELTS exams for the listening test. You are going to answer your questions during the period of the conversation in your question paper. And in the 10 minutes you're going to have after the listening of, your, of these conversations, you are going to translate your answers from your question paper into your answer booklet. It's important that you accurately translate your questions your answers from the question paper to the answer booklet, else you will miss a lot of marks. What are important tips to know when you are preparing for your listening test? Number one, the conversations are going to play once. It is important that you make sure that your listening device is working very well. There will be a test session before the test officially starts to make sure everybody's listening device works appropriately. If there is any problem, any sound, any uncomfortable nature or your device is just not working, indicate at that point because once the test starts, it's not going to stop for you for you to have an exchange of a listening device. That's why there's that test section before the exam. Also, pay full attention to your question paper. The ILTS bodies organizing tests are very stern on malpractice of any kind or type. There is no point to pay attention to any other aspect when you are listening. Just listen attentively to the conversations and answer the questions as the conversations are taking place. So as you're listening to one particular part of the conversation, answer the questions immediately. There's going to be pauses, intermittent pauses between each section of the exam. At this point, fill up any blank questions that you've left during the conversation or that you have not gotten answers to during the period of the conversation. This is very important when it comes to addresses and the spelling of streets or particular details from the conversations that you have been listening to. I think one of the most important aspects for me personally while preparing for the exam was actually taking mock tests online. The mock tests are so well structured online and I'll drop a link here so that you can actually practice in this um, from this site. The mock tests are so well designed that you listen to the conversation which are actually past IELTS examinations and then you answer the questions on the go. Why you do this, at the end of the day, you are automatically scored from the site. Now let's talk about the structure of the questions that you're going to have in your listening test. There'll be multiple choice questions, so questions where you're going to pick option A, B, C or D as the case may be. There'll be short answer questions where there will be like the instruction will be in not more than two words, answer the following. So you're going to answer two words from what you have been listening during the conversations. There will also be questions where you are going to fill up flow chats. So maybe the professor is discussing the production of um, wine and you're supposed to fill up a flow chart. That you, the, the, will be, the question is going to be a flow chart and then you're going to fill up segments of that flow chart, for example, as regards the production of red wine. When you take this mock, you'll be more familiar with the structure of these questions and how to answer them. 
there will also be questions on matching where you actually have to match the appropriate answer to the appropriate response and there will also be questions on map reading map reading as well as the diagram filling are actually very similar so by the time you take mocks you get familiar with these questions there will also be questions on sentence completion so maybe this, the speaker was making a statement and you're supposed to fill up you are supposed to complete the statement he has made or the speaker had made during the process of speaking in your answer booklet. Generally speaking, I think the listening test is fair enough. Make sure your listening device is working and pay rapt attention during the period of speaking. Answer your questions on the go and most importantly, transport your answers accurately from your question paper to the answer booklet when the test is done. In the next part of this video, we're going to be talking about the reading as well as the writing. The writing is going to have two videos so that we can go deep into the technical structure of your essay composition. Please like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.